Jesus grows up in Nazareth. Jesus was born here on earth as a human, but there was something very special about him. He didn't have a normal father because God was his father. This was why Jesus was born with a spirit from God, a power and a voice inside him in a way that told Jesus what was right and wrong. No one else has been born with that, but Jesus was. The Spirit of God showed him what he should choose when he was tempted to do something wrong. He lived together with Mary and Joseph in a city called Nazareth. Joseph and Mary had other children too, so Jesus had brothers and sisters. They probably weren't very rich, so it's almost certain that the children had to help with the work already when they were little. Jesus knew his whole life who he was, that he was God's own son, and that his task was to help the people in the world. But there weren't very many people other than he and his family who knew that. So Jesus certainly experienced many of the same things other children do, like how siblings can be annoying, or what it's like to be left out of a game. There was no one who treated Jesus in a special way, so he knows very well what it's like to be a child. But no matter what happened or what he was tempted to, he always chose the good. He never did anything evil, what we call sin, but he was good to those around him. One day, when Jesus had become a young man, the Spirit of God told him that he was to say more about who he was and why he came to earth. So he walked to the synagogue, which is like a church or a hall where the Jews met. They gathered there to read the Bible and pray. It is serious and quiet in a synagogue, and there are clear rules of what you can and cannot do. On this day, there were a lot of people in the synagogue. Jesus stood up. It was completely quiet in the hall. He read a Bible verse that said that God's Spirit was in him and that it was he who was chosen to help the people. After that, he closed the scroll and said, Today this Bible verse has been fulfilled while you were listening. Everyone was completely quiet. They stared at Jesus. They were probably a little confused about what he had actually said. They thought he had said something good, and the way that he had said it impressed them at first. But when they realized that Jesus really meant what he had said, they became very angry. They became so angry that they grabbed a hold of Jesus, took him out of the synagogue, across the road, and straight towards a cliff. The people that Jesus had grown up with, who had known him since he was little, were now completely ready to throw Jesus off the cliff. But Jesus had the Spirit of God in him. And suddenly a wonder happened, something that was like a miracle. Even though they were a lot of people, something stopped them. Jesus walked straight through the crowd and away from them. It was strange that they so suddenly stopped pushing Jesus. It must have been God who was watching over him so that they weren't able to hurt him, and he helped Jesus to be brave. Then a new time began for Jesus. The years in Nazareth were over, and he would now travel around Israel to speak to the people.